Angela Silva here and today I'm going to break down the new OutSchool application process. Now in my other video, which you should go watch, I break down the three attempts that I made to get hired with OutSchool and I showed you my video samples, the ones that were rejected and the one that finally got me in. Now since I applied, they have changed the video requirement and they've made it three to five minute long instead of like the 90 seconds and it has to be a class sample. So I am going to show you exactly how I would do it. I'm going to explain the four step hiring process and I'm going to show you a sample of a video that I would do based on one of my existing classes. And that's step four. So be sure to hang around to the end of this video so you can see my sample application video that I would submit and to give you ideas. Now, real quick before we jump in, it'd be so helpful to me and my channel if you hit the red subscribe button. Super easy for you to do, but makes a big difference to me. So I would be very grateful if you went and did that. All right, so when you go to outschool.com and if you haven't applied yet, I have a referral link down below that you can use and it would give me credit with outschool. So I'd be grateful if you used my referral link. So once you fill out your basic information, you create an account, use your email address, create a password, you have to go through OutSchool 101. Now they say it's a five minute overview that goes through the basics of OutSchool. And it looks like it's basically a little course with different modules. So the first one tells about OutSchool, what it is, talks about teaching what you want, shows you some classes that other teachers offer, talks about scheduling, pricing, talks about the students, what it's like to teach on OutSchool, who can teach and the technical requirements, and then it talks about getting into your application. So you're required to go through OutSchool 101 in the first step before you can actually start filling out your application. I should add that from OutSchool 101, you can also go into the Teacher Training Center, which has the for the application, teacher training, continue the learning, live classes for teachers, so they have so much support. That's one of the huge pros and things that I love about OutSchool. Their support is phenomenal. They are constantly updating their support articles, releasing new ones. Their support team is really thorough and responsive whenever I've had issues. They're super quick on their live chat or through email to solve my problem and get me answers. Like 10 out of 10. Their support team is amazing. Once you do OutSchool 101 in step one, you go to step two, which is your personal info and experience. Let me show you exactly what you'll fill out in this section. So other than your basic info, like where you live, you have to fill in all of the experience you have teaching or working with youth, whether as a professional, a volunteer, or in your personal life, like a homeschool teacher. Our teachers come from a variety of professional backgrounds. Share anything you think we should know. Be specific with how long you've worked with youth, the subjects you've taught, and the ages of learners you've worked with. Now, I've also included a link down below to a support article. OutSchool themselves has an example of an application that they think is great. They have an example of a good answer to this, to this question. So go look at that. They tell you exactly what they want. The transparency is amazing. Go to that link and they have, they also give you advice that they want it detailed. They don't just want bullet style. They want a very thorough and accurate description in this field. So use their link and their example as your example to fill out your application. The next field says to please list any academic degrees, teaching credentials, current or expired, professional training or other relevant professional certifications you hold. We do not require degrees to teach on OutSchool. Include anything that will help us learn more about your background. Please include the year, subject, and the state or the institution. Again, you don't have to have a degree to teach on OutSchool, which is also really cool because this would be a great job for college students who are looking for flexible work that they can do around their class schedule and use the talents and skills they already have or get experience in their field of study. And then the optional field is a place for you to list your own professional website, Facebook page, LinkedIn profile, or anything that helps describe your experience and expertise. So I put my YouTube channel there because I'm considering 
I haven't listened in yet, but I'm considering offering some classes for aspiring YouTubers where I would take you behind the scenes on my channel and show you how to break down the analytics, go through some of my popular and unpopular videos and show why, <laughs> why some get results and why some don't, best practices for thumbnails. But that's why I would put my YouTube channel in that box. And that is it for step two, your personal info and experience. So now we move into step three. So step three is where they wanna hear about the classes you wanna teach. Now my best advice to you is to only do this if you care about it. If you have something that you love doing and that you would love to teach kids how to do, then out school is great for you. If you're just doing this because you wanna earn money, you see YouTube videos of Friends of mine making over $100 an hour doing this, yes, the money is there, but not if the quality isn't. The teachers who are succeeding and doing really well on OutSchool care about what they're teaching. They love the kids that they teach. They are passionate and they poured their heart into their content and curriculum. Now, creating your classes isn't super complicated, but again, don't go after what you think is gonna make you the most money. Go after what you're passionate about and the money will follow because the quality will be there. Okay, with that said, here's what you have to do. It says, out school teachers create their own classes. What topics are you passionate about teaching? What, which ages of learners do you want to work with? What experience or expertise do you have in these subject areas? It's fine to share high level topics here. No need to have the perfect class title. If you need help coming up with, an I with ideas, check out our list of recent topic requests here. I've also put that link in the description so you can see what parents want because a lot of people think, oh, I, don't, I don't want to teach a core subject. Let me tell you, I enrolled my kids in a class about shoe tying. My four and seven year old learned how to tie their shoes in 20 minutes proficiently. They did it over and over again. This teacher was amazing and blew bubbles and had songs. My four and seven year old can tie their shoes. There's a really pop popular class I mentioned in my other video about farts. Um, I talked to a friend who wants to do one about uh, misunderstood animals. There's a lot of popular social chat clubs, chats about TV shows, book clubs, video games. If you like a certain type of animal, the sky is the limit. It doesn't have to be related to your educational professional experience. If you have a hobby, something that you could teach to kids who are interested in it, then you'll do well. But again, you need to be specific about the age groups that you want to teach. And again, check out that link on OutSchool that gives you what they're looking for in terms of the formatting of these answers. Now, after you fill in that field, it says, now that you've told us what you want to teach, let us know what class with you will look like write a sample class description below. You should write this description as though it is for prospective families. Include information about what you will teach, how you will teach it, and what learners should expect from their class time. This field is only for our team and will not be published on the site. It should be a paragraph long. If you're not sure where to start, check out sample class listings for new teachers and they have a link right there. Again, they give you everything you need to succeed if you really wanna be an out-school teacher. Tons of samples. So see what other out-school teachers are doing. Look at real class listings. And here, I will show you some of my class listings for actual classes that I have published on out-school. Here's a class listing for my semester-long class that teaches three and four-year-olds sight words Here's a class listing about my crab attack class. So I go catch crabs from my local neighborhood marsh and I use my document camera setup and I have a video about how I do this. I turn my phone into a document camera so it points down on the crabs. So here's the class description for that class. Then here's my class description for a personal accountability class that I teach and that does really well. All right, that was step three. So now that you've described the class you wanna teach, and you've created a sample class description, now it's time for your video, and this is step four. It says, record a three to five minute video where you teach a sample of the class you described above. So I talk in my other video about alignment, and they've made this application easier to do that. So they say, using that information, they have to be the same, make a video. This video will stay private and will not be visible to families. 
It's a way for our team to get a quick read on who you are and the kind of teaching environment you'll provide to out-school learners. You should, one, show us and show off the space where you will teach. So film in your office or in the environment you're gonna have actual class. They wanna see what's around you and make sure it's appropriate. Second, show us your teaching personality. You are not gonna do an intro. When you make this video when for, that you submit on your application, you're not gonna say, okay, my name is Angela Silva and here's my thing. You're just gonna jump in like you're right on Zoom and a kid just popped up and you're gonna say, hi, I'm teacher Angela. It's so nice to meet you. And then you're gonna go into teaching like you would a real class. Then the third thing is share your expertise. Teach us something that you are excited to share with learners on OutSchool. Um, they recommend it's three to five minutes long. Make sure it's 100 megabytes or less. Um, and watch it to make sure it works before you upload it. All right, I'm gonna show you a sample now. So I'm going to use my sight word surprise class that's fully booked and doing well as my sample right now. So I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be three to five minutes long. I'm going to jump right into it as if my little three and four year olds just popped into Zoom and are ready to learn. And I'm going to teach my heart out the way I would in real class because that's what OutSchool wants to see. It's going to be in my classroom. I'm going to use all of the props and equipment that I normally would. And yeah, here we go. Hello friends, I'm teacher Angela. What is your name? Hi, Max, can you wave? Everybody say hi, Max. Good job. Where's Olivia? Olivia, can you wave? Everybody say hi, Olivia. Nice to meet you all. And today, you're going to learn to read. Do you know how to read? Raise your hand if you can read. No, not yet? Well, guess what? I'm going to teach you to read right now. Are you ready? Okay, can you see this with my hand? We're going to read this word, and this word is it. Can you read with me? It. Yes, you say it. It, very good. What letter is this? Yes, it's I. What letter is this? T, very good. Where's your muscles? Can you show me your big muscles? Good, okay, we're gonna teach our big muscles these letters. Are you ready? Do it just like me. I, T. Let me see you, teach your muscle. I, T. Good job, Max, I heard you do that. Now, we're going to write the word it in the air with your magic crayon, which is your finger. Let me see your magic crayons. Show me your fingers. Good job. How do we write the letter I? The letter I is a line and then a dot. Let's do it with our magic, our magic crayons. Are you ready? Line, dot. Did you do it? Line, dot. Good. Now, Max, how do we write the letter T? Yes, we're gonna make a line, a tall line, then a little line across it, like a belt. Let's use our magic crayons and write a big line in the air and then give it a little belt. You did it, very good. Now, can you get your real crayons or markers and your paper? And we're going to write it on our paper. Are you ready? Okay, let's start with I. Remember, it's a line and then a dot. Good. Okay, now T wants to be I's neighbor because they want to play. So really close to the I, you're going to do your long line and then give it a little belt. Okay, let me see it. Show me your it. It. Good, those look so good. Okay, now that we've learned to read and write, it is an a, uh, we're going to make a book. You are gonna write it is a, uh, and then draw a picture of your favorite things. Let me show you. Oh, what is in this surprise egg? 
it is a kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing. Let's read it. Ready? Let's read it together, okay? It is a kangaroo. Now, you're going to write it is a on your paper, and then you're going to draw a picture, and then you're going to do it again, and then we're going to read our books. It is a, and then show us your pictures, okay? Olivia, Max, can you read? Yes, you can. I want to hear you say it. Ready? Say, I can read. Yes, yes, you can. I'm going to send you some reading magic. Are you ready? Do you feel it? Do you feel it? You can read. Very good job today. Now you go practice writing these words and making your book. And I'll see you next time, okay? Great job. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Max. All right, I hope this was helpful in breaking down this four-step application process to OutSchool. I've been teaching on OutSchool for the past few months now, and I love it. I've taught online for the past three years, and right now I'm the most excited about OutSchool. I love their support. I love the transparency. I love the autonomy that I have over teaching what I want and what I'm passionate about, and that I can set my own schedule and set my own rates. Now, it does take time up front to create your classes, but you don't have to fill out feedback on the back end like you do with some other companies. So I think that time makes up for itself because you only make it once and then you teach it over and over and over again. So what are you waiting for? Go apply to OutSchool. I promise that once you start teaching and that you see how you're able to take your passions and skills for cooking or sports or whatever it is and turn it into a small business teaching children what you love, you will only regret not starting sooner. It's a fantastic opportunity. Again, my link is below if you'd like me to be a referral teacher. Again, OutSchool provides all of the support. They have a fantastic support team. And I would be so grateful if you hit that red subscribe button. All right, good luck applying to OutSchool and happy teaching.